Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Terraforming Mars Solo Challenge. Today we're just going to roll a random seed uh, and see what we get. Though I do want to say, I was this close to playing the web app where you, um, ooh, interesting, where you get to have access to all the expansions and all the promo cards and stuff. And I came really close to doing that, but the more I thought on it, the more I was like, you know, it's just so much more convenient to play in the app. And it made me think of the fact that I wanted to, you know, I was going to buy space mirrors, but what's the point? Seven bucks versus eight bucks? Ugh. Um, my God, English, Matt. English, finish your sentence. I wanted to give everybody some news that on the BGG site, I actually read that, you know, the publisher of this uh, has a new team working on new expansion. So, like, they're actually in the works or under development to taking all the trash code that makes up the game currently. Um, and, yeah, and that's cool, I guess. Guys, I'm sorry. Like, I, uh, oh, also, though, don't expect it anytime soon. It's basically the vibe I got. I'm really conflicted in this run for what is actually good. Like, I think I'm gonna take Thorgate and I'm gonna buy energy production. Like, I could play Helion, but then what? You know, I, you know what? I think I will play Helion and we'll do space mirrors and we'll try and get our stuff going that way. And we're honestly just gonna save a bunch of money early and hope that something better comes along. Because we only have 14 income plus the three heat. Like, I really wish we had a Jovian tag, because that beam from a Thorium Asteroid is pretty friggin' good. Um, but, you know, let's think. This is, this is good for us. Um, if you're gonna be building something that takes steel, getting another uh, event played, is good. I like med lab. It's some income, but we won't get it right away, and that's just fine. So, hired raiders. That'll get us to steel, so it breaks even. We get a energy production, and we turn. Yeah. And we get a little bit more heat production. So that's cool. At least we'll get a heat bump next round. And if we ever get these oceans down, then we can start getting oxygen for energy. But we're going to need to buy a little bit more energy for a couple rounds. But seven bucks for an energy, like, we're grinding that out. I always have to take anti-grav for the chance. And I'll take this building tag. I'd love to do kelp farming, but clearly oceans are not really happening for us. Let's start with soil factory. And then I could get my ME production up two steps if I built my med lab. But I think I'm going to put off the med lab because I'd rather get an energy production for cheap and get another heat bump, which is still in, you know, we're still making some profit. Keep our eyes open for research, something that gives us lots of science tags. You know, I don't think we're going to get to seven science tags, but it's so easy for the game to turn around and be like, here you go. Um, I like the nuke. Because that gets us some heat production. And if I nuke, I could nuke for some steel. I really want to nuke for cards, but... If I nuke, I nuke here. That gets us a heat production. Then with all my stuff... I think I'm going to buy an energy production again. 
I really want to get that money income because money, you know, makes the world go round and allows you to play all these cards. But this extra bit of energy production is giving us that extra bit of heat. It's also allowing us the opportunity to one day get, um, I'll get trees. That's unlocked by uh, heating the planet. One day we're going to be able to do oxygen bumps using our thing. Um, yeah, and it's too bad we couldn't get more building tags, but I think this is the time. For five bucks, we do that. Then we do this bump. Now we have eight heat income, and then we get another energy income. Like, we're in a good spot, and like the fact that it's pooling over, we can think of it as money income, right? Because we're Helion. This is just a lame run. Where, like, I'm not particularly scared. I just wish that something was happening. I don't think we have Earth tags, do we? We have one. This is kind of worth it, though, because we could get our uh, beam built if we take it. Oh, did I not take the Earth event? Oh, rats. I meant to take the Earth event as well. The Earth event. Um, I'm going to hold off on Miranda Resort. Like, I want to build it. But I think I'm going to do it on around where... I can also get the other card, because we could get another Earth Tag in the meantime. You know? It's not impossible. And we could buy both cards next round, maybe? Still didn't get an Earth Tag. We've got Ironworks, though. And Saleta and Polar Dust. Whew! Can we buy Saleta? We can't. It would cost us seven of our heat. Which leaves us with how much extra heat? With seven. So we could buy two cards. I'm okay buying both of these cards, honestly, because we need oceans. And then we buy Saleta. I mean, it sucks to spend so much to get income this late, but. It's not just money income, it's it's heat, right? Like, heating the planet is a good thing. Um, oceans and space is good. Now I'm buying lots of cards and I'm thinking, is this, is this a good idea? Should we be buying this many cards? But clearly I think it's fine because it's what we're doing. Finally, I'm getting my first ocean. Um, we really need more ocean. More better. Hmm. I see that we got some pretty good cards in here. And we have a lot of steel income all of a sudden. So obviously, that's fine. I don't mind overpaying by a buck. But satellites is really good with our all our other cards. So I just I really need to get an ocean down so I can get those oxygen bumps started because I'm terrified of our oxygen. How many signs did I even end up getting? Just the one, eh? Yeah. Like don't get me wrong, there are more that I can play, but do I need energy? So for a round, I think I want to do satellites, and then this is 12. Oh my god, I'm an idiot, I thought satellites was space station. I mean, that's fine, I got income, but like, I could have at least played Miranda first. Oh my, that, and solar wind, oh my god. God, did I just give everyone a brain aneurysm? Because I feel like I just had one fire off. 
Oh, I, I feel so dumb. I don't know what I was thinking. I just assumed it was my discount card. Oh. Ugh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put bad money or good money after bad and just pass by just accepting what happened and then taking the cash for a little bit of flexibility. Oh, electro catapult's good because we have lots of steel. Let's build it immediately and immediately sell something. That feels good. Okay, how much heat can we do right now? One, two, three. Okay, now we get two more here, which gives us the ocean, which we'll put way down in this corner because we're not ready for a greenery. Oh, we can get trees as well. But I wanted this. I'm gonna go with the waters. Am I gonna? I think if I hold off on the water splitting plant, that's better because then I can use my steel on something. So let's get trees. Oh, and I had three heat left over, so I could have. I feel like I've just made every mistake. I really do. We need energy production though for next turn. We have three heat, so I could have done viral enhancers first. Instead, I'm just a dumb dumb. And I will build this green right here, and we'll just start walking towards where we need to go. We're gonna get three oxygen bumps for reasons. Let's just get this. And then we'll figure it out from here. I feel like this would have been an easy game to win. And then I went out of my way to make critical mistakes. But we have so much heat production that we're going to end up being just fine. I think is how it's actually going to turn out. Cupola is worth it. Heather is definitely worth it. I'd like to do water imports. We could only get three oceans with it, which isn't actually that much. So let's... Get down to business to defeat the Huns. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I definitely want water splitting plant. We need oxygen bad. Like, the amount of sinking ship this feels like to me is just over 9,000. And, like, I don't even think I'm going to get the beam from a thorium asteroid anymore. Because I'm like, why am I doing this? What am I doing? Because I need an energy production for next round. And I built a cupola city. Because I wanted some points. So I'm going to have to give up one of my heat bumps this round so that I can get an energy production for an oxygen next round. And then heat, heat, okay. Okay, can we pull it back? I don't know if we can, but we're gonna hope to. Round 12, you know what, we have lots of time, right? We have plenty of time, and that's an immigrant city, that's a cheap city. Um, this is all bad. Let's oxygen. Yeah. Let's do, uh, steel. Yeah. Let's get... Let's get this friggin' two cards. I've been sitting on that forever. It's not too late to get, uh, colonizer. And so we will. Uh, Lake Marineris, it's about time that you come out to play.
And now we're just really on that greenery train. I want a city here, I think. But I don't want to build it now, because it's actually lower. Well... No, we should buy greeneries. And then we can buy another greenery, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because we have just enough heat. Like, we're gonna do some damage with how much heat we have. I'm just pissed that that's a neutral city. I wish there was a card that was take over an opponent's city. Just freaking revolution, uprising. God, do we ever need oceans? Good thing I never- I, I knew I wasn't gonna get oceans, and we didn't get kelp farming early on. Io is fun. Obviously, there's not actually that much value in it. Lots of Jolgians have been popping up, though. I think we'd rather go for these two cards, though. And then let's take a quick peek. Do we have something good? Ganymede, another points for... This is one of those runs where it's like... Could have been really good. <laughs> uh, towing a Comet's awesome. Like, there's a lot of potential for this run. I just, time and time again, threw it away. And I feel bad. And I should feel bad. I should get a city here. Scoop some points off them neutrals. Oh, I haven't sold a steel yet. And we get an oxygen here. Like, we're in a good spot. We need four oceans, but, like, that's hardly the end of the world. This city allows us to place greeneries over on this end. I'd like to put one here. And then, honestly, I think I buy two of the oceans. Because there's only one card... No, there's two cards left in the deck that would take oceans. Or give us two oceans at a time. But still, I'm not going to bank on us getting a card like that. So that's cool. That allows us to get this greenery here. That actually gives us enough for another ocean. But we actually would rather get farming and stuff. So Nitrolithic. Can I get that? I think I can. It's $8, right? So if I build this greenery here, that's six bucks plus the three heat. And remember that we have an enhancer, so we actually get an extra plant back. So it's it's eight bucks to get two plants next round and then another two plants in the bonus greenery phase, so we're doing pretty good. Terraforming Ganymede. Like the the git <laughs> the git git git. I, I picked up a science strategy when really if I'd just gone for... Why am I doing this? This is like a plant that I'd get. None of this is good. Let's terraform this planet and get out of here. What a, what a round, though. This has just been wild. So let's buy the oceans before we get out of here. Mars University. It's worth a point, so I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna cycle the card I can't afford. I'm gonna cycle the card I can't play. Both of them are bad. Ecological. Whenever you play, so this is like a point, and it's a scoop. Look, I know I want a greenery here, because I know I want to build a city there. So it's really just a question of can I get enough? Like, I think I do want to put an ocean here for the two plants. Because now I can get two points for this, which actually enhances. Or it's one point, but then it becomes two points because it enhances twice. cool and then like that's that's just cool but it also gave us a bunch of money in plants so 
So now I buy a city. And I want this spot? That's also plants. And then I have $15. And there's no way to make $15 useful, sadly. I could get up to $19. You know, had I built the city here and this, I'd have six bucks. That still wouldn't be enough. Had I built it here and... Mm, it's fine. Like, it's just fine. It's not great. It's just fine. And then we pass. So this could have been... I think we could have gotten at least five points more. If not ten. Had we just played it not crazily and honestly had i put this greenery here no i need i need five more plants so no never mind i didn't miscount just put a greenery up here done and voila we've won okay helion classic hard to lose if you get heat production because you just end up with so much tr and stuff but 91 points on that run it was a god awful first hand but then things looked good in generation four so, yeah, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. It was, it was a run. <laughs> it was a run. I'll see you next time. Cheers.